guys welcome back to another video so sorry if my camera seems to be a little crooked um, uh, I'm resting my camera on a box today because as you can see my tripod is behind me and that's because I have a setup ready for a DIY I'm going to be recording soon but in today's video I'm going to be telling you it's it's a story time technically so I'm going to title it a story time this is a story time video welcome to Tuesdays but this is going to be about the reason why I have anxiety or the reason I believe I have anxiety now it goes way back into 2012 uh, more like 2011, uh, like beginning of 2011, but everybody was, it was the rave of the world, the end of the world in 2012, because the Mayan calendars were ending, so everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people believed it was the end of the world, and so, early 2011, my brother and his friend were talking a lot about how the world was going to end. And it was going to be a zombie apocalypse, because that's, the, that's what they loved. They loved zombie apocalypses a lot. And then my brother began to tell me things like, the world is going to end in 2012, and you are going to die. The zombie apocalypse is going to happen, and I would have to watch my family die before me, and then I would die. Now let's just let's don't forget that during 2011, early 2011, and then it's 2012, because I'm pretty sure it was put. The world was supposed to end like late 2012, so this was almost two years long of this whole thing happening. Because my brother would tell me this a lot. Basically, I was the ages of 11, 12, and 13. I was in middle school. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was in sixth. I was in fifth and sixth grade when this was happening to me, basically. And every day he would tell me this. Like, every day. He would tell me that I was going to die in 2012. It was going to happen and I couldn't stop it and I would have to watch my family die before my very eyes. Which scared me a lot. But I mean, let's be honest. I was 11 when it all started, and I watched a lot of zombie movies with my brother, and I watched him play a lot of zombie games, and so I knew a lot about zombies. And I knew that no little 11 year old girl without any actual weaponry was going to kill or stop a zombie. So every time I would go outside at night, I would be afraid a zombie was going to sneak up on me. I could not sleep in my room alone in the basement because I was afraid something would come into my room. And I couldn't close the door because I didn't have a nightlight and so it would be all dark and if it was too dark something could sneak up in the darkness. So that really handicapped a lot of my life, honestly. Like, it freaked me out to the point where I didn't do much of anything, ever. Um, it restricted so much of my life. I never watched movies with my brother again. I wasn't able to watch him play zombie games anymore. It, like, literally, I couldn't see it. If I saw it, I literally, like, went into straight-up panic mode. And I was horrified for so long. I remember having so many dreams of my family dying to zombie to zombies and having so many dreams of me being alone in the zombie apocalypse me dying in the zombie apocalypse so much so many nightmares every day so many thoughts every day I hated being alone I hated whenever my parents would go out well my mom and my stepdad would go out or I'd be alone in the house, or I'd just be alone with my sister or something. It was horrifying, because I thought I was going to die. I thought I'd have to watch my family die. And it made me distance myself a lot from my family. I never wanted to talk to them. I always just came home from school, and I felt completely upset and sick, and I didn't want 
to be alive, really. I mean, I wasn't, like, suicidal. I didn't want to die. That was kind of the whole thing. But I didn't like the feeling of being completely scared all the time. And l I was literally so anxious. Like, anytime anybody came up behind me and I didn't know that they were there, I would, like, jump and sometimes I'd scream. And it wasn't pleasant at all. And he didn't even realize he did this to me, which is even worse. Um, so basically for two years this went on. I was scared every day. I didn't believe anybody. It kind of sank into I didn't believe anybody loved me. Like how, why were they going to let this happen to me? For a long time I didn't believe in a god. Um, I, well I mean I believed in him. But it was more like I was doubting him. Like, how could he let the apocalypse happen? Why was he going to do this to us? Things like that were coming across my mind a lot. And it was handicapping my life in so many ways. I had very limited friends anyway. But it just made my social life so much worse. Because I didn't want to talk to anybody. Because I didn't want them to see I was upset and ask me what was wrong. Because then I, I wouldn't tell them. And I didn't want to be a liar. And I didn't want to tell them because I didn't want them to think I was insane. But then when 2012 came around, it was the day the world was supposed to end. And I was in school. And the clock was ticking by. I think it was supposed to happen at like 2 in the afternoon or something. I'm not 100% sure. It's been a few years, but I remember sitting in my classroom. I was in my um, study skills class, sitting at the round table with people I didn't know because I didn't want to talk to them, terrified, shaking, sweating, felt like I was going to cry. Like, I knew it wasn't going to happen at the school because... I thought maybe the world was gonna end and like the earth was gonna split in half and I'd run home and then I'd watch my family die like I thought that that's how this was going to play out because my brother had told me I was gonna have to watch my family die before I got to die and it was horrifying so I didn't know what was happening I didn't I mean I didn't know what was gonna happen I was so scared there were other people that were kind of scared I mean sixth grade 11 year olds kind of you know believe things when rumors like that are spread the teachers didn't care uh, or at least it didn't seem like they cared because they were trying to you know keep the school like under control or whatever they were like no the world's not gonna end the Mayan, ca the Mayan calendar just repeats but so school day ended the world had night um, I went home I didn't sleep because I was so scared and then the next day came and the world was still there. I woke up and my family was alive and the rest of the year went by. And that that was that. And slowly um, I was I came out of my zombie fear funk. I am not afraid of the apocalypse. I mean if it happens I mean, I'll probably just kill myself so I don't have to deal with it. I mean, depending. But I watch The Walking Dead. I watch video games. I love apocalypses, really. I mean, like, I love apocalyptic stories. I love that kind of stuff. Mainly because I don't believe it'll happen now. Because, obviously, that didn't happen. But, so basically, I'm, like, the opposite of what I was from then. Except for I am very anxious sometimes and I have anxiety and all that stuff so this is where I believe my anxiety came from if you know more about anxiety and reasons for it please leave comments down below on whether you, or not you believe that this is an actual true fact or if this could have actually happened or if this is the actual reason why I have anxiety I would love to know I don't really think it's all really why I have social anxiety um, I think maybe it has to play a little bit because I was too afraid to talk to people because I, th I would think that they would make, that they'd tell me I was insane. But I think there's more to my social anxiety than just anxiety. But this is my story time. This is the time my brother gave me anxiety. Um, I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you have anxiety, which I'm sure most of you probably do because most of this world does, leave it down below. Um, if you're comfortable with it, I completely understand. Tell me what your, opin your opinion on apocalypse And I would love to um, see more stories from you guys. So, yeah.
you can comment down below or DM me or on any of my social media links down below. If you're a really cool dude, I'll probably follow you. So, I mean, hey. I don't really do follow for a follow, but, you know, I mean, if you're cool, I'll follow you if you post nice stuff. But, uh, yeah, so hit the like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe to Pick Up My Bunny today for more story time videos, DIYs, opinion videos, vlogs, all that kind of stuff. I would love to see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye. Pick Up Bunny Bunny. See you guys next time.